Hello everybody, Chris Duarte here, I'm out on the road, and I thought I'd put a little video blog showing you what pedals I'm using on this tour. The only pedal I didn't drag out was my Mutron Octave Divider, it's kind of buried in the van. But let me get all to the rest of them. So the, uh, what looks like the first, but technically the last pedal in the chain, is uh, the BB Plus right here. And uh, of course I, I use it like that. And I, I use, just use this side, this side right here. I don't use this more heavier distortion, but I just use this side. And then I keep it all the way down, because I just want it just for a little boost. And after that, I have the CE5. CE5, great little pedal. Uh, this is my Leslie cabinet. I use this as a Leslie cabinet. Everybody always ask me, what pedal did you use for a Leslie cabinet? Well, it's this one. And then after that, I have the... DD3, this is my short delay, and uh, also when I break a string, I use it to cover. I just throw all these all the way so it does infinite repeat, and I'll hit a note, and then I'll change this change guitars. You no know, trick of the trade. Um, and so this one works really good. And I just want to point out a friend of mine, Mike Kusan, he came. Uh, last month he came from Japan over. He's a big fan over there in Japan, but he came over here to visit some of his family, and he bought me a pedal as a gift. Arigato gozaimasu, arigato makuza, arigato. Uh, uh, and this is a this is an old vintage DD3. This is I think this is probably like from the mid to late 80s, and you can see it has the blue label that made in Japan. And it has a different chip. I did a little bit of research on this thing. And it's got a, a different chip in it. And it might be like the second mod they did on it. They, they sort of they put out the first one, then they, then they put out another one with little modifications in it. And it really does sound different. It's, it's pretty amazing. I think it's got a little bit warmer sound. It's kind of cool. After that, I have a boost uh, guy down in Florida makes these. I'm sorry, it's lizard leg effects. It's the flying dragon. My good friend Bob down in uh, Murph, as they know him, down in Florida gave me this pedal. And I keep it about right there. And after that, I have the Hoochie Mama. Hoochie Mama. This is Brown Electronics out of North Carolina. Uh, this is just a very subtle boost. The spank is always down at the very bottom. After that I have my new pedal from uh, Root. This is from Poland. A company from Poland sent this to me and I really like this pedal. So this is like my in-between tone because I have the Hoochie Mama which is a little boost and then I have the SL which is coming up next. That's like over the top distortion and this sort of doubles is right in the middle and this is a great pedal. I really like it. It's got different selectors. It's got four different selectors on, on sort of tones but I leave it on the on the one all I guess number four technically if you want to see it that way. And I'll put the tone back, but uh, I really like this pedal, and that's what I've been using this. Now, I think it's going to stay for a while. Jingue, you wrote. And after that, oh, like I said, the Exotic SL. This is a great pedal. When I first tested it out, it was just a prototype. And I said, that sounds like my Marshall. And they go, well, that's what we're trying to emulate is uh, a super lead Marshall, hence the SL. And they got it right. Sounds a lot like a Marshall, especially when you plug it through a Marshall. And then after that, oh, we have the delay. It's my Mulan delay. Let's get a close up of that. No, not that close. There you go. See that beautiful bell? Oh, it's such an eye catcher. Then you got all those knobs. You got the modulation knob and your effect knobs, your feedback knobs. And these are different presets all the way down here at the end. But I just leave it on one where I can use the tap button here. I'm sorry, I'm trying to <laughs> using the monitors to do my favorite one. I'm like a, a really rusty weatherman doing this. So. But anyway, this is great. This is my long delay. Sounds a lot like a echo voice. So I like that. And then after that, I have oh occasionally I will use oh I just had the Luna. Uh, this is like a Univibe. It's made by Mojo Hand. I use this. I use this on some songs. So uh, it's like in the it's in the chain like three times out of a week, you know, or three gig, three out of five gigs. I have this in the chain. It's a really good pedal. It sounds a lot like Univibe, and I like a, I like the treble cut on it too, so it can take some of the highs out of it. And I always keep the speed really slow. I like that slow sweep thing that hinders it. And then I also want to give a shout out to my friend in Japan who made this for me. 
This was you can you can't even read the the names on any more ways, it, but it's called the Texas Tornado Pedal, and he made this especially for me because he thought of my tone. And I used this for a while, but then the the road took its its toll on it because the road is unforgiving on equipment. And so uh, so when I go back there in Japan, like uh, in in November, I'm gonna give it back to him to repair because I really like this. I used to use this all the time to leave my soul. And of course, I have a, a Gaia Tone AB, AB box to take the tuner out of the loop because everybody says tuners suck your tone. So that's what this is for, Gaia Tone. And then, of course, as a tuner, I just mentioned good old classic TU3. These, these are great stage tuners. Uh, no snark for me. I'm just of the generation that doesn't have a snark on the headstock. People, you have to give it up. It just doesn't look good. I know it's convenient. And but it it just doesn't look good. It doesn't look cool. Anyway, so that there's my stage tuner. I like the stage tuner. And I think that is it. So thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, be looking out for more video blogs. I've wrote some more blogs, and we'll be in Manchester. I don't know where we'll be Friday, <laughs> Saturday. I think we're at the Stone Church in Portland. Oh, we're at the uh, we're in Scarborough, Maine. That's right, the Brick House. We're at the Brick House, and we're going to be at Four Points Barbecue. Oh, I can't believe the itinerary is starting to come back to me. I'm usually terrible with this stuff. I have to see it. But anyway, thank you so much, and we'll be out there tearing up and trying to play some new songs. So hopefully, we'll see you out there. Bye.